cuts are real cuts, right? What? I mean, if you get cut by a paper, you'll like bleed, right? Yeah? Well, then, like, why don't you ever get a scar from a paper cut? Oh my god, Mel. It's getting late. We've been here way too long. Oh. You're not even making sense. Oh, we've been here for seven hours. <sighs> Come on. Chem test at eight. I've got to get at least a little bit of sleep. Oh. Are you ready to go? Mmm. -hmm. What are you doing? Look. There's a little late night snack over there. That guy was in my English class last semester, but I never talked to him. Oh yeah, I'd like to chew on that. You are so weird. I think his name is Ross or something. So hot. Well, if you didn't get around to talking to him for an entire semester, do you really think here, in the middle of the night at the library, some kind of magic is gonna happen? This is my second chance. Come on, let's go. No, let's just stay a little longer. Maybe he'll, you know, come over here. Mm-hmm. Because I'm sure he'd just love to see you in the state you're in. <laughs> no, let's go. I'm tired and will not support this. Now that is too funny, Carrie. You'll have to tell me the rest of that story later. Damn, okay. I'm gonna get up and stretch for a second. Stop it now. You're in crazy town. What the hell are you doing? It's like that commercial where the girl has a taco in her purse. Just go talk to him. No, he's got to notice me. Just a second.
You are more dramatic than an Arthur Miller play and an episode of The Hills combined. Okay. Last resort. I'm gonna walk up to him. I'm gonna take this pizza pocket and I'm gonna shove it in his face because the only way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Please, just listen to your words. Just go talk to him. No. Yes. It'll be awkward. And you think your previous approaches haven't been? Okay. He gives off that I'm in a serious relationship vibe. Wow, that's a lot of information gleaned from not even talking to the guy. Come on, let's go. Okay. Mm. 